Hi, I'm Paul Ray, and I'm here at the Sutter Home Vibe and Vine Green Room. Well, when it comes to music in Sweden, it's like we uh, we try to stay as busy as possible. I think we're the third largest export when it comes to music in general in the world, and per capita we're number one because we're such a small country. I started writing songs when I was about 13 or 14 or something like that, and I always wrote in English because it just felt natural to me. I always heard music with uh, English lyrics. Growing up with Michael Jackson and the Beatles and Elton John and Bob Marley, that was always like the classical four albums that we used to play. The Swedish artist named Timbuktu is the reason that I'm doing music. Because I saw him perform when I was about 11 or 12. My dad took me to a concert. He has just the most energetic performance uh, on stage and you know, watching a sea of people, everybody's just dancing and mesmerized by him. So I was just like, I gotta, I gotta be that guy on stage to spread that energy to the whole world. That was what I wanted to do. <laughs> I started off with a mixtape when I was about 15 or 16. After that, I did a thing where I released one song each uh, Wednesday uh, for 10 weeks straight, called it Wonderful Wednesdays. That guy got some attention, got me playing on radio in Sweden. And then when I was 20, I released my first independent album called Making Moves. It, it went well, but I didn't really find a big crowd, which is why I went into the studio after releasing that album. Just wanted to find something new when it came to the sound, you know. Not reinvent myself as an artist, but kind of just find the true me. And um, that's what happened after a couple of months. Uh, we came up with a song called Good As Hell, and it kind of changed the whole thing. <laughs>